dawn in Shiner, Texas. Not unlike daybreak in thousands of other small towns across America, with one notable exception. When Shiner residents talk about a really great brew, they're not just talking about morning coffee at Pawtuck's place. They're talking about a spot just up the road from there. And if you follow the beer trucks any morning, you're sure to find it. The Spetzel Brewery. In fact, if it hadn't been for some thirsty and very picky farmers, the Spetzel Brewery might have never happened. The year was 1909, when German and Czech farmers longed for a beer with the old world quality and taste they remembered back home. So they put up a two-story tin shed at a site with access to a deep artesian well. And realizing that they needed a true brewing craftsman, they located a Bavarian brewmaster by the name of Cosmos Betzel. Cosmos, who attended brewmaster school in Germany, brought to Shiner an old world recipe that had been in his family for generations. Using the Spetzel recipe, Shiner beer was born. And as word spread, the little brewery began to thrive. Even when Prohibition forced other breweries to close their doors, the Spetzel Brewery remained open, producing near beer and ice. Some people even say that Cosmos continued to brew real beer, but only for a few close friends. Mr. Spetzel, at midnight in 1933, gave Gilbert Casper $2.50 to take a pony keg and put it on the back of his bicycle and ride it around town, and Gilbert Casper rode the bicycle around town, announcing the end of Prohibition. People in and around Shiner were always glad to see Cosmos. With the trunk of his car filled with ice and cold Shiner, he traveled the countryside, greeting people in taverns and cornfields with a warm smile and an ice-cold beer. He was a gentleman. And yet he was a character. And uh, he, uh, he had his very set ways. And uh, some people have a habit of putting salt into their beer. And in those early days, he, if, he, if he gave you a beer and you put salt into it, he said, if that beer had needed the salt, I would have put it in. That tradition of craftsmanship and pride made Cosmo Spetzel a legend. And it continues today our little brewery and shiner. Today, the brew house might be larger, a bit more modern, but Cosmos would still feel right at home. We still use only the highest quality malted barley, wheat, and hops. And each brew is still crafted, one at a time, under the watchful eye of seasoned brewmasters. Then the beer ages, naturally, for about 30 days, and checks are made daily to monitor its progress. Finally, at the peak of perfection and flavor, the beer is sent to the bottle shop for packaging. Bottles, cans, and kegs are checked for quality every step of the way. Cosmos would never compromise on quality, and you know, we still don't. Cosmos Spetzel knew that great beer was the work of head, hands, and heart, and that commitment to quality is reflected in each of the Shiner beers. Over the years, 
Spetzel Brewery has won the hearts of those who share its spirit and dedication to quality. Today, we remain one of the oldest independent breweries in America, and you can count on us to stay that way. The phrase, our brewery, our pride, on each of our products isn't just an advertising slogan. It's the way Spetzel employees feel, like Cosmo Spetzel. They want their beers to be the best because they're brewing them for friends. The Shiner name on each label is our promise of quality, tradition, and spirit. We're glad you came to visit our little brewery and see how these dedicated people handcraft every brew and let them pour you one of the freshest, best tasting beers around. Brewed with pride from the heart of Shiner. Shiner.